All right, so welcome to another episode of Dingle Days, guys. Today we're going to be discussing, or rather checking a little bit of an update on Disney's automatic sit while walking in the hill position, or just a general let's go. Just basically what we want him to do is to sit when I come to a halt. We don't want to actually have to give the command, but for this to be the, his automatic default when I stop walking. The other thing we're going to be working on today is a recall with a distraction. Um, I guess it's been dubbed the hot dog recall, but essentially Disney will be on one side, I'll be on the other I will give him the command front and after that he will have to come and avoid the distraction in this case a piece of cheese um, we'll also be working on dropping some food in front of Disney um, and having him leave it without the actual command this is to reinforce that treats actually come from my hand and not the floor all right Disney you ready to get after it let's go buddy So the first skill we're gonna work on is actually walking and working on the automatic sit when we stop. So you don't wanna have to always sit your dog uh, with a command while you're walking. You wanna just try to build it to where he's doing it automatically. So we've been working on this for a while, so this is more like a review, but this is essentially how you teach this skill. Um, initially, you're actually gonna give the command to sit to your dog, unless they automatically do it, in which case just provide praise and encourage them to continue to do that behavior walking and yes good sit good boy very good puppy okay heel we're walking we're walking and Yes. Now in the beginning, it's okay if he's not sitting exactly beside you. Of course, we want to get him sitting in that heel position. But right now, we're just working on the automatic sit. Let's see if we can do that again. Heel. Yes. And that's what we want to see. We want to see him stop automatically and sit. Heel. and sit good job now he is a little bit out in front of me right now that's really not what we're focusing on of course i don't want that but right now i'm just focusing on when i stop he sits heel yes perfect that was really good that was really good boy very good pup if your dog is not doing this uh if we backed it up a few steps, here's how you can train this. Come on, buddy. Sit. You'll give them a second to give you a default sit, but if that's not what they automatically go to, you can actually put them in the SIT position. Heel. Sit. Yes, good boy. Now, he automatically kind of does this, so it would have been better to film this during um, the beginning stages because he's like, what are you reaching over here for? I, I'm putting my butt down. <laughs> but that's essentially what you would do. You would give them that command, uh, possibly a little bit short to let them know that you want a sense of urgency about it and just continue to drill that. Just do this drill all the time. Heel. Yes, good sit, good boy. Very good, very good dog. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna actually work on a few distractions. Uh, we're gonna drop some food in front of Disney and I'm gonna reach down and pick it up. Look at me, look, stay. He can watch it go down, but he needs to leave it. Stay. Okay, good boy. Very good. Very good puppy. Now that's really hard for them to do when the food's right there in their face. He's gonna wanna naturally go after it, but we're just gonna keep working on the skill. So I'm gonna drop some food in front of him, bend down and pick it up, which is very distracting for him, and then release him, and only then will I give him a treat. And not necessarily the treat that I dropped on the ground. We got a real world distraction going on here right now. Actually, there's a dog's neighbor, or rather a neighbor's dog across the street that's barking right now that's really distracting him. So, you know, sometimes it's actually good to train with real world distractions, but uh, let's see if we can hold his focus here. This, 
Stay. Drop a piece of food on the ground. And another one. And another one. He watched it drop. Stay. He'll bend down and pick it up, which is on his level. Okay, and I released him. Good job, very good pup. And I'm gonna reward him with a treat. And we'll just continue to work on that until eventually he's not as reactive with the food dropping in front of him. And now I'm gonna drop the food in front of him. He's watching it, but he's staying where he is. Then down and pick it up. Okay, very good, very good puppy. That was so good, Diz. That was very hard for you. That was really hard, wasn't it? Treats come from my hand. Or however you give your dog your treats. But essentially, they do not come from my kitchen floor. All right, good boy. All right, so the next skill that we're gonna work on is actually a recall with distraction, AKA the hot dog recall. Essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have Disney come to me in the front position while avoiding the, uh, well in this case we'll be using the cheese uh, that's to his side. Eventually the obstacle, the hot dog, the treat, the whatever will be directly in between him and myself and he'll have to come straight to me avoiding the distraction. So to train this we're just gonna start off with the cheese just slightly in front of me. Not extremely, you know, we're trying to set him up for success initially and then slowly build up. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do to work on this skill is first we're gonna remind Disney of what the front command is, and then we're gonna do the recall drill with the distraction slightly between he and I. Wait. Disney, front. Yes, good boy. Front. Yes. Very good. Very good boy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start off very close to him, and I'm gonna put the distraction somewhere over here and just tell him to come to me. Disney, come. Yes, very good. And he left that alone. Sit. Good boy. Very good puppy. Good job. Good boy. Good job. Very good. Okay. I'm going to place the distraction to slightly to my right and then have him recall to me. Disney, come. Disney, come. Good. So one thing I will say about the training that we did today is that this is a really hard thing to teach your dog. Disney was initially really, really distracted by that piece of cheese. In fact, even as a trainer, I was focusing so much on trying to get him to do the behavior that I even gave him the wrong command. So I was trying to establish this by giving him the front command and I actually just told him to come. And then he still became fatuated with the cheese and didn't want to actually turn away from it. So we're definitely going to have to back this up a few steps, have me get closer and just get him focusing on me.